Hey everyone, my name is Masha Nuts and today I'm going to teach you how to start and finish your bracelets by bringing all your strings to a point in the shape of a triangle. So what you're going to do first is you're going to have a look at your pattern and you're going to locate the triangle that you're going to be working with. So for the beginning of your friendship bracelet, you want to start at the point and widen your bracelet. So the tip of the triangle is going to be at the top. So this is the pattern that I'm working with. This is the triangle that I'm going to be making. So as you can see in my pattern, I left two things coloured in. I left the knots, which is the round bit of the pattern, and the little sticky out bits, which represent the threads. So those are the two things that we're going to be focusing on right now. So now that you've located the triangle that you're going to be working with, you want to cut the strings according to your pattern. So in my pattern, I have two strings of each colour. So that's what I'm going to cut. Once you've cut your threads, you want to secure them onto your working place. So this time, I'm not going to be making a loop, I'm just going to make two ties at the end of the bracelet. So I'm going to leave a bit of string left over so that I can make the ties out of it when I finish. Now that you have your bracelet tightly secured onto your workplace, you want to separate your two strings in half according to your pattern. So that's what I'm going to do now. Have a look at your pattern and visualise a straight line going right through the middle. Now look to the left of that line and identify the strings that you will need. They are represented by the sticky out bits of the pattern. Identify what colours you will need, now go to your bracelet, separate those colours and put them to the left. Do the same thing for the right half of your bracelet. Right, so if you look at my pattern, the first knot of the pattern is a blue backward knot between two blue strings. So I need two blue strings to be brought into the bracelet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the blue strings from the left side and I'm going to make a forward knot onto the entire left side of the bracelet. By doing this, I have brought the blue string into the center of the bracelet. So now I'm going to do a backward knot with the other blue string onto the right side of the bracelet. By doing that, I have brought the other blue string into the center of the bracelet. So those are the two sticky out bits of my pattern. I just brought the two strings into the position that they need to be. So now I'm going to make the knot between these two bracelets and according to my pattern it is a backward knot. However, as you know, because the knot is between two strings of the same colour, I could do a backward, forward, backward, forward or forward, backward knot, it really doesn't matter because they are both the same colour and the knot is going to appear the same anyway. So I have done the first knot of my bracelet. In the next row I can see according to my triangle, that there are two green knots. So to do those knots, I need to bring the green strings into the center of my bracelet. So I'm going to do the same thing. With the left bit, I'm going to find my green string, and I'm going to do a forward knot onto the left bit of the bracelet, ignoring the blue string that I have already brought into the center. So only on the ones that I have still left outside. Now I have brought the green string into the center of the bracelet. I'm going to do the same thing except a backward knot on the right side of the bracelet. Right, so now that I've brought the strings into the position that they need to be, I'm going to make the two knots according to the pattern. So the first one, the one on the left, is a forward knot with the green string onto the blue string. The second one, according to the pattern, is a backward knot with the green string onto the other blue string. Okay, next, according to my pattern, I have to bring the pink thread from the outside into the center. So again, I'm gonna do a forward knot with the pink string on the leftover bit of the bracelet, ignoring the strings that I have already brought into the center. Now I'm going to do the same on the left side, I'm going to take out the pink string and I'm going to do a backward knot onto the leftover bits of the bracelet, ignoring the strings that I've already brought into the center. So now according to my pattern I need to make a forward knot between the pink and the blue string. Then I need to make a knot between the two green strings and a backward knot with the pink string onto the blue string. All right, next I have the yellow string and I'm gonna make a forward knot with that onto the leftover string, which for me right now is just one purple one. So I'm gonna make a forward knot, bringing this string into the center. And I'm gonna do a backward knot on the other side of the bracelet, bringing the string into the center. 
And then according to my pattern, I'm gonna make a forward knot between the yellow and the blue. Then a forward knot between the purple and the green. A backward knot between the pink and the green. And next I have a backward knot between the yellow and the blue. And last but not least, I need to finish off my triangle. And this time I'm not gonna do anything special. I'm just gonna do the row of the bracelet as it is in the pattern. So as you can see, our bracelet is beginning to form. So from this point, you can start making the bracelet in the way that you normally do. So I'm gonna finish my bracelet and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna finish it off. So when you're finishing your bracelet, you have to take a look back at your pattern and find another triangle. But this time, because you're finishing the bracelet, you're bringing the threads into the center. So the point of the triangle is gonna be at the bottom. So this is my pattern. This is the triangle that I'm making. So as you can see, I've already completed the knots of my triangle, so you're gonna have to do yours separately, but you do them the same way that we did in the beginning. You do them one by one. So I'm gonna quickly show you what I mean on my one. Once you've identified the triangle, you do all of the knots that are shown in the triangle. So for me, all of the knots that I've highlighted are already made. However, you completely disregard the knots that are not highlighted. So the ones that are black and white on my pattern, I have completely ignored and not made. So once you've completed the triangle, once you've finished it, you take the left bit of your threads, take the first two, and you make a backward knot with the one on the right to the one on the left. Next, you take the next thread, which in my case is this green one, and you make a backward knot with this thread onto both of these. By doing this, you are bringing the threads close together. You have to make sure it's nice and tight, but you also have to make sure that you're not warping your bracelet. As you may have guessed, the next step is you take the next thread and you make a backward knot onto this entire strand of threads as well. And last but not least, you take the last thread and you make a backward knot onto the entire strand. Same thing for the part on the right, except you're going to do a forward knot. So you're going to take the outermost two threads, make a forward knot. Take the next one, make a forward knot onto both of those threads. Take the next one, and again a forward knot onto the whole strand. And last but not least, the last one, and again a forward knot onto the entire strand. And so there you have it, and from this point on you can start making your ties. So this is how this technique looks on a thin bracelet. I have some more examples for you. Here's another thin bracelet that I made using this technique and you see how it worked out here and in the beginning as well. This is a thicker bracelet and I think on this bracelet it worked out really well because of the colors of the rainbow. It fit perfectly with the pattern that I was making. And here for example, this is also the same technique that I was using to finish the bracelet. In my opinion, this technique looks better on thicker bracelets but you can definitely use it on whichever bracelet you want. So there it is, that's how you start and finish your bracelet with a triangle. I'm going to leave a link to this pattern down below in case you want to make it. But also I'd like to thank you all for watching and if you ever make anything based on one of my videos, I'd love to see your creations over on Instagram. Thank you for all your recent support and interaction, I really appreciate it. And don't forget to comment if there's anything that you didn't understand about the video. Also let me know if there's any videos that you would like to see me make. I'm thinking of doing a video about my friendship bracelet collection because I've collected quite a few bracelets over the years, so let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!